when this is done, we're going to drink a couple of bottles of the most premium wine. Diddy has been implicated in some pretty nasty drama these past couple of months, and it looks like he might be going down for good. But wait a minute. He ain't going down alone. Now, I know what you're thinking. You think I am about to mention Jay-Z. But that's not it. Turns out that everyone's favorite Lakers player, Love Ron James might be involved in the mix as well. Word on the street is that James might have the same interests and fantasies as his friend Diddy. There's a former police officer who seems to have confirmed the rumors. And guess what? Even Kanye West is coming up to give his two cents on the matter, and it ain't pretty. According to him, somewhere in Diddy's collection is a tape of the Lakers player, and let's just say he ain't shooting hoops. Just what's going on here? Is there really a Diddy and LeBron James shocking roleplay as tape out there? Let's find out. It all started with fans digging up an old clip of LeBron and Diddy. It was a live stream, and the one moment that had everyone talking is when LeBron praised Diddy's parties. According to him, there was no other party like Diddy's. Like we all, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, 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 yo, tell us up. The family's there. My family's here. Now we don't need to tell you how shocking this is. Everyone knows about the depravity that went down at Diddy's parties at this point. Illegal substances, alcohol, young women, freak-offs, you name it. It all sounds like something straight out of an 18-plus movie, but read the lawsuits filed against Diddy and the multiple eyewitness accounts, and you'll know it's true. There's drugs. There's alcohol. There's loose women there's loose men and this is why anyone who attended diddy's parties is given the side eye because there's a high chance they participated in diddy's sinister acts or at least knew about it yet chose to stay silent about it as for lebron well it turns out that he might have been closer to diddy than what most people thought the pair grabbed a ton of attention when James and his son joined Diddy during an Instagram Live with the goal to raise money for healthcare workers during COVID-19. Our narrative is clear. We're yes. doing this for the healthcare workers, the party with a purpose, so I want to give them a chance to speak. I want to give them a voice. During another instance, James' son Bryce was seen with Diddy's twin daughters Jesse and Dee Leela to homecoming. Apparently, he's pretty close with Diddy's kids who were cheerleaders at the time at Sierra Canyon High School. I mean, if their kids are hanging out, it's not hard to imagine how close the parents are. What's more, Diddy also made a $1 million donation to Howard University. And guess what? James was first in line to praise Diddy for his generous donation as he went ahead and gave Diddy a shout-out on Instagram. Congratulations on everything you're doing with the schools. I got, I got a couple of schools myself, so we in a fight together for the education, saving our communities. And let's just not forget the fact that James has always been open about liking Diddy's music. The player has appreciated the mogul for his voice and remarkable tracks on social media multiple times. Back in September, James shared a video of himself on social media where he was singing along to one of Diddy's new albums. Lebron captioned the video with, Man oh man. An absolute freaking stone cold vibe. And what do you know? Diddy came across his post and replied, Nam, my brother King James got the best voice in the NBA. Love. Back in 2018, Diddy also posted a photo of mysterious black boxes with the names of some of his most famous friends, and fans spotted LeBron's name in the mix as well. He told his friends and fans that his something special was on the way. However, as fans know Diddy wasn't exactly the man he was selling himself as. And it looks like LeBron might have had some skeletons in his closet as well. The clip of James praising Diddy for his parties surely gives the image that James was an active member in Diddy's parties. While there's no confirmation about James' involvement in all those illegal activities, fans think that there actually might be something here. Apparently, James may have picked up some tricks from Diddy, and we don't mean the good kind. Back in 2021, former player Cappy Pondexter came out with some wild allegations that had everyone shocked. She claimed that James had trafficked her. Now her words did stir up a storm, but they were quickly buried when the internet found out that she was in fact mentally ill at the time. A WNBA former basketball player, Patty, has come out to say that LeBron James try to traffic her and I'm going to show you guys the video and I want you guys to pay attention I didn't even know what the f*** was that I 
I do not want LeBron James. That nigga's a trafficker, my nigga. He's a trafficker. However, not everyone was ready to slide the accusations under the carpet. NFL legend Larry Johnson supported the woman and her claims. However, he doesn't exactly have the reputation of being the most reliable source out there. And just like that, everyone forgot about the controversy. But fast forward a couple of years, and here we are. James B. Effett is being accused of trafficking people. What's more, there's apparently an ex-Los Angeles police officer by the name of Reggie White Jr. going around and making some wild claims about the NBA player. He allegedly has stone-hard proof of LeBron being involved in Diddy's trafficking ring. And what's more, is that he thinks as the feds dig into Diddy, they'll eventually come across the evidence as well and that LeBron's days on the quarter numbered. And, like most fans, he's also hoping that it doesn't interfere with the Lakers' playoff run this year. We also don't need to remind you about how Diddy can practically offer up LeBron to get himself out of the messy situation that he has landed himself in. According to the lawsuit filed by Lil Rod Diddy, wiretapped all the rooms in his house to secretly record the guests at his parties. Interestingly, he still has the tapes. So if LeBron really did attend Diddy's parties as the streets are saying then, there's a high chance that Diddy might cooperate with the authorities to reveal the list of celebrities who broke laws to save himself. Either way, there's no way that LeBron is getting a good night's sleep these days. He must be pacing back and forth, trying to think of a strategy to curb the crisis that's heading his way. I don't think it's only celebrities going to be shook. He had politicians in there. He had princes in there. But wait, there's more. Word on the street is that LeBron and Diddy weren't merely messing around with young women. In fact, according to the recent chatter, these two had something going on in the bedroom as well, if you get what we mean. And guess what? Apparently, Kanye West knows the deeds, and he's getting ready to spill the tea. So if you see a video of him doing an interview and saying some wild stuff about LeBron and Diddy, don't be shocked. But until that happens, fans will be busy trying to digest the fact that their fav is associated with someone as evil as Diddy. One person wrote, This video is A I My Goat Would Never, which tells you all that you need to know about how fans are dealing with the current situation. And that's it for today. What do you think about the entire situation? Did James actually have something going on with Diddy? Will James break his silence? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.